Now, every game begins identically. You start here, like this. Uh, you could see your other, uh, other friends, but you can't inspect them. And you have to wait for about 15 seconds uh, before entering the game. Sometimes the character gets disconnected, and basically the three of you have to uh, go through the game, which is basically very easy to do, especially on uh, non-hard mode, which allows you to quickly kill through the things and farm the points that you need. Uh, right here, as you would see, it says uh, Camp by Night, Infection Level 1. Camp by Night means that this is the map. Infection Level 1 is the, the what I have determined is based on the gear of the people who you're grouped with. The higher the t uh, tier level of the gear, the more likely that the Infection Level will be 1, 2, or 3. At the moment, I have only experienced playing across three different maps. Camp by Night, la uh, Lab Raid Infection, and the last one, the Purple Moon Club which were all very very interesting maps but the genre is the same the pvp maps are unique and individual in their own way this is what i was talking about earlier uh people working together they're fighting off the zombies while i dps the wall as you can see the i do enormous amount of damage plus an aoe ability uh, b uh based on the amount of rage i have generated in my uh, personal opinion, wasting rage, uh, unless it's three bars, uh, it's kind of, kind of a waste unless you're trying to finish off a mob, a boss, or I mean mainly a boss or a mini boss or a player, you know, so they don't get away from you. Uh, each map, each event is timed and basically you will travel if you will make the finish the map under 12 minutes uh it will give you a good reward if you finish it under 20 but over 12 it will give you mediocre reward if you finish it over 20 you'd be lucky even if it gave you any reward few times when i did extremely hardcore we finished over 20 minutes like a 21 or 22 and we didn't get any basically loot also, when you arrive at each of these flags, you hold a key X on your keyboard and you capture the flag. Uh, well, you don't capture the flag, so to speak, against other players. You, you defend the flag against zombies that basically are trying to uh, take over the flag. But in my opinion, the, when they get to the flag, nothing happens. They kind of walk by it and purely target it in you. Uh, in, I don't think it's more defend the flag, but more survive, uh, survive while staying around the flag. Once you survive for long enough, uh, it will allow you to basically move further on in the game. Uh, as you can see, the map is long. All the way over here in the end is the boss. Uh, doesn't really matter how many zombies, at least it currently in the beta, it currently doesn't matter how many zombies you kill on the map. Uh, the loot in the end is completely randomly generated. I had maps where it was just me and the other person would be half-ass AFK and I would end up having the most kills on the map out of all the zombies you know out of all the players uh, killing all the zombies uh, I mean like by a lot by like 20 30 uh, kills and it, I would basically end up getting like one or two briefcases and inside it would be like bandages and a duct tape which you will you know once you get this game you will see what I mean uh, once you finish defending the flag, well, or surviving while being around the flag, the map allows you to further on move. Oh, wait a second, I'm sorry, silly me. I, we haven't really finished the map. Well, we haven't finished defending the flag, we finished the term. Wasn't really paying attention. In this game, actually, it's also quite easy to die on hard modes uh, because mobs do so much damage and these mobs are there's a lot of mobs that are very unique This is why I compared this game to Diablo uh, That was like a, one of those small mobs that is equivalent to like a blue Mob or a yellow mob in Diablo that has a special ability that is a pain in the ass to kill and that has more HP than regular mobs
after you defeat the flag, as I tried to demonstrate earlier, you will continue on and will have to break down a barricade. There's always a barricade on every map, after every goddamn flag, and then you will basically have to reach a checkpoint. This is the, the area where you will spawn back if your character ends up dying. Well, actually, when you're playing a PvE, everybody has to die for your character to respawn or somebody has to bring you back to life. During certain boss matches, it's kind of hard to bring a person back to life because of their AoE abilities. And I will show you how, how actually very interesting bosses are within this game compared to many others. And I really like Diablo 3. What I like about this game is that at the end, there's always gonna be a quite a unique boss for you to fight. But as you can see, you at level 8 you will have special abilities uh, that like in Dota. And once you kill the boss, the match is basically over and you will restart once again. Now, when you finish a match, you will see something like this. First, your level leveling. As you can see, my level can achieve four levels, which is indicated by the little dots underneath the level one. Each time it levels, it will gain a new ability. Uh, this is how much experience my weapon acquired. Uh, this is how much experience my character acquired, and this is how much experience my account. This game reward is totally depends on uh, randomly generated. As you can see, I got an interesting pattern for a shotgun tier 2. Also, in this one, I got patterns for hooks. Now, let's go make another craft. All I have to do is basically go to the crafting table, check out the new shotgun that I acquired, click that, click craft, and if I would like to craft this, I would have to end up spending 3,000 360 points first you if but if I would have had the materials gorilla tape I could have just clicked craft which I will also go further into more details in a second once again and you can view the equipment that you cra uh, crafted and you could see any kinds of perks or benefits that they have as you can see the crossbow actually in a way outdoes the shotgun but the shotgun is AOE damage while the crossbow is more single direct damage and actually is quite amazing on bosses.